two-time player, hopping out an alligator, sipping lean and later, homie, I'll annihilate. What's up, gamers? It's your boy, Fat Dollars, bringing you the best Madden 18 tips online. So if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and then hit the bell notification so you can never miss a video. Also, comment of the day is, what do y'all like? early morning uploads or late night uploads let me know in the comment section we are going to go over my charger scheme that is different than anybody else on youtube and i'm going to show you on part one how to beat cover two real easy and then we're going to do cover three and cover four or y'all can let me know in the comment section what it is exactly that y'all want me to show y'all on offense so we're going to come out in this trips y flex now look at that number 81 that is a tight end on the play and that is very crucial to help set up all your plays so we're going to set our audibles we got slot fork right there we got corner strike in the lb and we got pa wide receiver in now you can switch it in and out you can put another good play would be this go double post and then another good play that i usually like to run on line because i alternate them depending on the defensive coverage i go to the go double post or you can go into the wide receiver smash so the first play we're going to go over is this corner strike and we're going to go against any kind of cover two and this is what the play is looking like the corner strike now only thing that you want to do on this is max protect as soon as you come out the huddle put him on a swing rope behind the uh quarterback and then you can either drag a or you can streak a it's all up to you but julio jones is going to man activate that corner over there so if he's in cover cover two it's a gg no matter what so you can either put him in the in route also if you want to so we're gonna hike the ball and all you got to do is just pass it once he gets past him right over the top of his head for an easy catch now your opponent is going to try to make all kinds of adjustments now he's going to try to make all kinds of adjustments he's going to try to blitz you to get pressure on you he's going to have to come out of cover two he can't sit in cover two that's the reason why the next part of the video is going to be so important because it's going to help you see how you can read cover three, cover four, and then beat them. The way that you set up the best plays is knowing how to read the defense as soon as you come out and then making the adjustments. So right here, you just wait. As soon as he gets past them over the top, you can't throw it early because he is shuffling his feet. And you know, on this game, they can jump pretty high. So you got to let him do his full second cut. So right there, he's behind them. And then you throw the ball, a whole possession catch, or you can do a wreck if you're about two yards inside. So we're gonna do it one more time. We're gonna max protect, we're gonna swing him over, and then you can put a hooper on anything. You can streak him, you can inside him, you can drag him to take a linebacker away, and then it'll open it up for Gabriel. But it's all about staying in the pocket. You don't need to roll out. You know where you wanna put the ball. We're gonna catch that, and we get about a 19, 20 yard gain. Okay, so now we're gonna go into the halfback draw. So, we're going to motion him. we got two plays that we use off of this hashback to draw. Now you want to pinch your line down for your blocking, and then you just want to hit wherever the gap is at. You see that? That's an easy four to five yards, and that's going to help set up your uh, PA wide receiver in. We're going to put another blocker over there. Then we're going to pinch our line down. You can ID if you want to to help with your blocking. That gap is wide open right there, and we get an easy three to four yards. Now, I'm going to show you why that is so crucial. Because in the PA wide receiver in, you bring him over. And then you want to take that safety away. So you want to fade him. You see that? Now, he's thinking that the run might be coming. You might hit him with a halfback screen. He's going to have to bring his user in. He's going to have to move one of these linebackers around. Right here on my ID, he's going to he gonna have to use one of these linebackers right here. He's going to have to use one of these linebackers. One of these linebackers you're going to have to use. So, now that we got it all set up, you should be able to hit B. Just be patient. You don't need to roll out the pocket. You can low ball that right there through the middle of the gap. That was a bad throw, but y'all seen it was a wide open touchdown. And it caught him off guard. So, you just drag Hooper over right here. Fade him. Stay in the pocket. No need to roll out. Get your blocks. And right there, boom. One move and you got a tutty tutty. Just one move and it's wide open. Now, also you can go into this slot fork and it's important. You bring him over, block the running back, look at the setup. You can do that or you can once again take that safety away. It's a couple different ways. Now you got the X route coming 
who you can smart morrow if you want to to make it a little shorter depending on where the first down at so that's what make it so good and then you got Sanu cutting back across with a post that you can always low ball pass depending on how they play Gabriel so you're gonna look down the field watch that safety on the left side start moving backwards he's moving backwards so you know that B is gonna be wide open straight through the gap cover to be the all day no matter how many adjustments he make trying to man people up because you got man coverage beaters on the play already too so the slot for it and the PA is gonna give you that one play touchdown no matter what this motion is the key to setting it up that motion is the key to setting it up so you're gonna stay in the pocket he's making this cut and the guy was trying to follow him you seen the linebacker was trying to follow him he couldn't he couldn't keep up with him he could not keep up with him so that's a nice three play sequence that's the corner strike that's the halfback draw and that's another one play touchdown and it's all positive yards no matter how you look at it it's all positive yards no matter how you look at it next we're gonna do cover three and cover four we're gonna go back into this corner strike one more time you want to swing roll him and you can streak him do whatever you want to streak him and row drag hitch it's all up to y'all you know that'll just give you another playmaker route drop back don't run out of the pocket let him make that second move high pass it and you might get a tutty tutty you might get 18 19 but he gonna have to make adjustments to his defense and that's what makes it so good that's what makes it so good step back in the pocket good pocket awareness throw it right there when he makes his second move possession catch you down to the five yard line already now if y'all need red zone tips or anything like that make sure y'all let me know he thinking that i'm bringing him over for extra run protection we're gonna put him on a uh, fade down there he looking down in the backfield short passes and look at that guy cutting touchdown if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button drop a like if you love these type of Madden tips and also in the comment section let me know if y'all want cover three cover six or cover four next it's all up to y'all let's go